Hi, I'm going to use this drum recording to illustrate the key differences between the different ways that you can bring tracks together uh, in Pro Tools and uh, put them into, well, let's call it a container. Here we've got what's called by many people a submix. Some people might even call this a subgroup, but the word group has uh, a different meaning in Pro Tools. Really, all it means is that uh, they're all being output, all of these member tracks are being output via this bus, bus 5 and 6 in this case, the input set to bus 5 and 6, and they're going through this auxiliary input track to make a submix. I can control the level of all of those tracks from here. There is another way of doing the same thing, which is to use what's called a VCA. Uh, that's short for voltage control amplifier. That's, this has nothing to do with voltages anymore, but historically it did. The thing is, if I pull this fader up and down, I get the same result, but for very different reasons. This is a master fader for a group, a mixed group in this case. And that grouped behavior, it, it, it ties all of the faders together in the members of this group, this drums group that I've got down here. All of these are assigned to a drums group. And this VCA acts as a master fader, and I can turn the level up and down. So I can control the level in two completely different ways. Same result, but the results are kind of different. And I'll show you what those differences are using this compressor. So this compressor is being fed by the output of this bus here, bus five and six. And it's on this subgroup here of drums. And if I pull this auxiliary down, while it gets quieter, look what happens to the gain reduction meter. Nothing happens at all, because what we're doing is we're turning down the output from that group, and that compressor is before there. However, if I pull down the VCA, what happens is I'm changing the level of all of the member tracks feeding that group. So because of that, it does have an effect on the levels feeding the compressor. More to the point, if I were to turn this level up while it gets louder, nothing happens to the amount of compression. But if I want to perhaps lean a little harder into this compression, by turning up the VCA, that's exactly what I'm getting. I'm now driving that to clipping. So there we are. That's submixes using an auxiliary and it's uh, VCAs controlling the level of a mix group. What we'll do is we'll mute this and we'll come over to here. This is another way of doing the same thing. Here I've got duplicates of those same tracks and they're in a basic folder. If I unmute this folder, what I've got is I've got um, an accumulation, an aggregation of tracks. I'm avoiding using the word group again. But all I can do in this case is it's just an organizational feature. I can click on here and I can hide those tracks or I can show them. If I go into the edit window, I can do the same thing. Or I can hit Shift and F and do the same thing. But all I'm doing is I'm just bringing those tracks together and putting them into a container so that I can show them or hide them. But there's no routing involved. However, if I introduce this, this is what's called a routing folder. And if I get all of these tracks, and I'll just pick them up and I'll drag them into here. They're now no longer in this folder, they're in this folder. You can see they're encircled by that blue band around the edge from this one here. And what I've got is I've got, well, at the moment, I've just got a folder again. However, the thing I've got here is that um, None of this stuff is making any difference at all, and there's no routing involved. That's because these tracks aren't routed through this routing folder. It sounds a bit confusing, but they're still selected. I'll just hold Option and Shift, and I'll route them through the bus that was automatically created when I created the folder. It's called Folder 1. You can call it anything you want, but by default, it'll call itself Folder 1, 2, 3, etc. Now, if I hit Play, what I'll find is I am routed through this folder, I can control the level in exactly the same way as I did with the auxiliary. So if I were to perhaps create a compressor, let's go here and we'll find Smack, which is the one I was using. Uh, let's even bring up the same preset that I was using. So what happens if I change the level of this fader?
absolutely nothing. So we can see from that little experiment, that if I turn this up, for example, the drums get louder, but they're not getting compressed any harder. So this is exactly the same in terms of signal flow as running through an auxiliary, but I've got this organizational feature as well, which is rather handy. The other thing that's really handy here is that uh, the, uh, the solo logic works much better. If I solo here, what I get is, well, it's not actually making any difference because the routing's all the same. But if I were to perhaps get these kicks and I option sh shift and change this to uh, an output, let's put it to the main output, I've now got my kick drums going somewhere different to the rest of the kit. I can illustrate that by muting the uh, output from the routing folder and the kicks are routed to the main output, the rest of the kits all routed via the folder. This is a really nice point about routing folders is that you don't have to route through them, but you can if you want to. So now, if I come back into here, I turn this up, it makes absolutely no difference to what's happening to the amount of compression on that track. So now if I enable this kicks group here, what I'll find is that I can control the level of the kicks using the VCA. In combination with the routing folder, that controls the level of everything else. Really, that's probably one of the biggest takeaways from this is that this isn't an either or choice. You don't have to use routing folders or VCAs or submixes. You can combine them together to your convenience. So for example, if you want to set up a hybrid approach of routing some tracks through a routing folder, but not all of them, controlling some of the tracks within a routing folder using a VCA, you can absolutely do that. That's what makes these options so flexible.